Welcome back to PTL Live from the Home and Garden Show. And joining us now, Antiques Appraisal, Dr. Lori. We love Dr. Lori. And I love Pittsburgh. <laughs> We've had a great, great week, haven't we? We have. Fantastic We've home had... show. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. Well, and you've had shows all 10 days. Yes, a couple yes. more left here. Yes, that's right. That's right. So you can bring your objects, free antique appraisals, courtesy of the Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show. And some of your audience decided to bring some things in. So let's get started. Okay. Hi, we... Selena. How are you doing? I'm great. Yeah. So we're going to talk about jewelry first. So if you brought a piece of jewelry, I'm going to start there with that ring. This ring down here. That ring. Hi, doll. Hi. How What's are you? Barbara McGonigal. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for coming. That particular ring, how'd you acquire it? It was my grandmother's. It's your grandmother's ring? Yeah, it's you didn't probably... think I could move that fast, did you, David? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got to be on this side. <laughs> your Probably from the early, early 1900s. Yeah, your, your, your ring dates to about 19... 5, 19, 10. Okay. And it's got three large rose cut diamonds. It's set in platinum. It's worth about $2,800. <gasps> Wow! Oh, nice. oh. Do you wear it? <laughs> Sometimes, wear not it very yourself. often. Wear it to church. Wear it to a wedding. Wear it. Okay. Or go on vacation, Barbara. Yeah. 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 I like that idea. Yeah. That too. Who brought yeah. this Barbara. necklace? What a Beautiful great start. Necklace. Thank you. What's your name? Dottie Shooty. Hi, Dottie. How did you acquire the garnet necklace? You know, garnets in the early 20th century were like rubies. Oh. It was my grandmother's. It's beautiful. Thank it's called you. a lavalier necklace, and this particular necklace has a secondary market value or an antiques value of about five hundred dollars. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you. here we've got this pin. A beautiful pin. A beautiful pin from the nineteen forties, fifties. How'd we acquire this one? Oh, come on. What's down. your first name, hon? Uh, Faith. Hi, Faith. Faith. I yes. acquired this mom's. Uh, my mom, and I think it was my grandma's. This particular pin. It's beautiful. You can see all the oh, nice, look, all the yeah. nice stone work here. So the stones are set, and they're set in rose gold, which is a high copper content that what makes it give it its rosy color. Mm -hmm. And value on this pin about one hundred and twenty-five dollars retail. Oh, nice. Thing. How about nice. this nice diamond necklace? That's not Thank you, oh. Faith. Hi. 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 Hi, Michelle. Oh, oh sisters. How are you doing? <laughs> Jackie. Jackie's been at my show before. This piece is also a lavalier. When the pendant falls, sort of like around your heart, that's called a lavalier. And this particular piece has a diamond, uh, pave diamond. I always say, you want pave diamonds, not pave boyfriends. Too small. What? Oh. <laughs> you want to get big diamonds, big diamonds. I wondered where you were heading. I know. Okay. The value on this piece would date to about 1925, anywhere between about 160 and $185. Very, Very nice. nice. I, I love the case. Yeah, the box is going to be too. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, pocket watches are now. Oh, one more piece of jewelry. Oh, How'd you acquire I, this? That was no, it's a pocket watch. How'd you acquire this? Faith. This is watch. Faith. Oh, that was your mom's Faith? Yes. That dates to about the 1960s, and costume jewelry is coming back big. Yeah. Value on that, about $65. Mm -hmm. Pocket watches, guys. Pocket, Pocket watches. watches. Pocket watches. Let's start with Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Dr. Lori. What do you look for? I want you to open up the pocket watch. If you can't open it all the way, there are usually two doors on the back of a pocket watch, right? So you want to open them both up. It'll tell you about the number of jewels inside a pocket watch. It'll say 17 jewels, 20 jewels, whatever it might be. That relates to the accuracy. The more the higher number of jewels, the more accurate the pocket watch. Your pocket watch is a 17-jewel pocket watch it's made by the standard company, Porcelain Face, 14-karat gold case, about $500. Oh, fantastic. Very nice. nice. Thank you. Was it Grandpa's? Yes, it was. Beautiful. Enjoy. Lovely. <laughs> this pocket watch... Hi, this particular pocket watch is nickel silver. It's not sterling silver, it's nickel silver. So it's a lower grade of silver, but it's very durable, and that's why a lot of gentlemen like this. This particular pocket watch didn't belong to a gentleman, it belonged to a woman. See how small it is compared to Christopher's? Gentleman's, woman's pocket watch. So it might have been your grandmother's. This piece has a market value without the crystal. You need the glass crystal on it. Value on this because it's lost the crystal about eighty five dollars. Okay. Yeah. But That's something cool. in the family and very nice. Exactly. Yeah, Still absolutely. in the family and very nice. Thank, thank you, lady. Pottery. How about pottery. The pottery? We've got this piece which seems like it has been loved. Hello, what's pottery. your name? Hi, Karen Fritz. It was my grandmother's. Aww. That's very nice. This particular piece is crazed. That means it probably was in a kitchen for a long time. Heat, temperature and humidity changing. That's why you have the dark uh, speckled sort of crackle all through it. There's nothing on the bottom, and you wrote on your little card, no marking, no clue. If there's no marking, it's American. Yours is American. 
early part of the 1900s and value on that about $35 in that condition. Okay. Condition is to antiques, what location is to real estate. It's got to be in good shape. Right. Yep. But it's beautiful. It's it's really beautiful. Shaving Thank mug. you. That little shaving Ooh, mug. The shaving mug. To your dad. Hi, my grandfather. Grandfather. So this particular piece is a good example of cleanliness in bar in um, in barber shops. So, you know, if we all went to the barber shop mm -hmm. in 1910, you'd have your own mug, I'd have my own mug, Heather would have oh. her own mug because you couldn't put the same the same mug to put the soap on your face. Mm. That's what that is. You'll notice it's very floral. You think it looks sort of feminine, but gentlemen's mugs also have those kind of flowers. And sometimes they had pictures of their occupation. So if your dad was a banker, there might be money on the mug. Value on that mm. mug, about $200. Uh, I'm glad you said yeah. it was a shaving mug. I would have had coffee in that thing. Me too. <laughs> I would have. And I hope you were doing that. <laughs> and then there's that little gilded piece. It's a little Thank gold you. vase. Do you see the gold vase at the end? It's gorgeous. Hello, right sir. There. That is Come on gilded. down. On the underside, it is a ceramic, and then you have gilding on top. Um, that's called water gilding. It was a very predominant process. It's very, very hard and labor intensive to do. Value on that particular piece, about $50. Was it your family's? It was my wife's grandmother. Uh, she received it as a 50th wedding anniversary gift in the 1950s. Very wow. nice. Wow. And if we yeah. didn't get to the pieces on the table, I will make sure that we get to them after, the, we're, after we are out. Either way. All right. Well, All right. Dr. Lori, since Thank we've you. been talking about favorite things, you did have one favorite thing. I had a favorite thing from the <laughs> home show. It's John DeSantis, but other than him, <laughs> he always invites me back year after year, and I do appreciate it. I love Pittsburgh and our audiences. I actually, went, I actually had something shipped home from the home show, and it's this. This particular piece is a Reiner's original ottoman in the Damn. shape of an elephant. My mother passed away a couple of years ago, and she collected elephants. So now I have a new ottoman for my mom. Aww, oh, that's beautiful. Sweet. Really sweet. Oh, it's all leather. They're beautiful. Thank that's you. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, I love that shirt. <laughs> and Thank you, you can come and see Dr. Lori. She has her stage shows through this weekend, uh, today and Saturday at noon, 3 and 7, and Sunday at noon and 3.